It happened! It happened! It finally happened! I got it! Ugh! What's going on, everybody? It's Tomb. I'm sorry for that. Death to all earbud users. I love you. There's legit rabbi. What's going on? He does uh, blow drops for 1600 Microsoft points, if you guys don't know. But what's going on, everybody? It's Tomb. And I'm bringing you guys a flawless MOAB on mission, playing some Kill Confirm with my man, Sketch Master. <laughs> Sketch Master, fuck yeah! <laughs> I'm bringing you guys a 30 and 0 MOAB with my man's legit rabbi, Sketch Master, Cockwise Dylan. And uh, I think another one of Sketch's subscribers or friends. I got this while Sketch was streaming, and uh, I figured I would use this as a gameplay. I don't end up at the top of the leaderboard. Sketch does, using a shotgun. Now oh, I'm very proud of you, son. But this is a flawless MOAB. I don't see too many of these. So I figured that I would bring this gameplay to you guys. I'm using the M4 with Sleight of Hand, Quick Draw, and Stalker Pro, I believe. My specialist perks are Hardline Pro, Assassin Pro, and Scavenger Pro. And, uh... I don't even know how this happened. I was basically just playing, and when I felt that I was getting really close and I knew I got my specialist perks, I realized, I was like, oh, I haven't died yet. So I was just like, everybody shut the fuck up and stop talking. God. Mama, turn the goddamn radio down. Yes, dear. That's right, bitch. Give me a sandwich. Goodness gracious alive, these people. Just the radio's going off right now. I, I I don't even understand. But there you can see I grabbed my specialist perks. And uh, I really can't give you guys tips for going flawless. I, I really can't. Because it, there's so much of an ass load of luck that is involved. Um, but I, I, tips that I could give you guys, I guess. Um, move around the map cautiously. Make sure that you don't exactly uh, just bum rush around corners. It's kind of stupid. But what I like to do is I rush the spawn, and whenever the spawn flips, I rush the other one, and I just continue rushing until I get maybe 10, 15 kills. And uh, that's when I start to camp. Rabbi saves my ass there. Oh my God, you Jewish Superman! You just—I just wanna. I just wanna. <laughs> Touch me, baby. Touch me. I'm right here, baby. Just, oh, uh, just slide it in right there. Sketch, get out of my commentary. God, dude, what are you doing? Oh, man. I'm in rare form tonight. Um, But, you know, I, I basically just want to talk to you guys about what's been going on with me now that all of that sketchy weird shit's out of the way. Um, I have been doing well. I If, if you guys don't know, and if you guys didn't watch my, uh, my New Year's commentary, I said that a lot of things weren't exactly going my way. And stuff still isn't, you know, I, I've got, I haven't even started school yet, I go back on Thursday, but I would like to say that I have told my parents that I want to be a volunteer firefighter and maybe pursue that as a career, and they're okay with it, and they're thinking, you know, if this is what you want to do, that's fine with us, and I really do appreciate the fact that my parents are understanding enough to, to get that, you know, there are a lot of my friends' parents that they're just... Oh, we did this, therefore you are going to do this. If you guys don't know what my dad does for a living, he's a marketing manager for United Stationers. It's one of like uh, one of the largest office supply companies in the entire nation, and he manages pretty much half the country. And I don't want to be crunching numbers. He hates his job. He hates his job. He hates his boss. But it puts food on the table for me and my hungry black ass, and it puts purses and jewelry and gas in the tank for my mama and her truck so you know I can't really complain but I want to do something that I love and I just I'm basically I want to explore and even though that I know it's my last year of high school and everything I still want to see if this is something that I want to do for the rest of my life you know having this YouTube having this YouTube thing it's like a side it's a, it's like a side thing for now you know it does make me money but it's not anything like you know what wings or anybody else does it's it's not a it's not a stable amount of income for me that I can't, you know, I can't pay for rent. I can't pay for gas. I can't pay for a car with this. So I'm basically taking my time and I'm exploring this option. And I think that I'm going to want to stick with this. I may grow to love it and I may grow to hate it. That's one of the things that I may learn about this. So I guess that I could say that I'm basically learning 
more about myself and learning about what I want to do and kind of making up my mind and being a better person and being a different person. You know, I have I have goals for 2012 besides graduating. Duh, of course. 2012 on deck. Leave a comment if you repping that 2012. Um, I'm so stupid. But, you know, guys, I'm just... I, I want to say I'm in rare form. You know, 2012 is a different year. I want to do stuff differently. I want to be a different person. If I know better, I should do better. You know, I shouldn't make the same mistakes that I made in 2011. And neither should you guys either. You got... Oh, I swear to God, I almost died there. I was legitimately about to bash somebody in the mouth. I was going to put my foot through the TV. Somebody just saved my... Clockwise, you a beast, man. But, you know, I'm basically just learning. And I guess that's all a part of really growing up, guys. And uh, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. And I hope you guys have a great year. I will talk to you guys in a few days. And uh, with that said, my name is Sazi. And I just dropped a 30 and 0 flawless MOAB. I'm out. Deuces.